We are here today with our Aspen Germany Leadership Seminar, Philosophy and Practice, um, and we have just finished our second day with lots of activities here in this beautiful venue um, of Kloster Mühle. And I'm very happy to have one of our participants with us, Nicoletta from Romania. And maybe, Nicoletta, maybe you can introduce yourself a little bit and tell our um, audience, our viewer, what, uh, what you do. Hi, so I'm Nicoleta de Liu Pasho, I come from Romania and I, I do many things in Romania. I work for a bank, I do communications and corporate responsibility projects, but I also volunteer for many NGOs and work close to the, with the Aspen Institute in Romania, where we do uh, different leadership seminars for different types of uh, social groups. I mean, in Romania we do for very young leaders, people around 20, then we do for young leaders, which is from 25 to 35. And then we do for more senior leaders. I mean, this type of uh, seminar that we had also uh, these days here in, uh, in Germany. And uh, we are very, very happy and grateful to Aspen Romania that they sent uh, you to us. Uh, thank you so much for participating. Um, you're awfully busy um, with all the work you do and also the volunteering and taking time out of a busy schedule like this. Um, it's al always a commitment. Um, so what motivated you to uh, come to another Aspen Leadership Seminar, this time to uh, Germany? And, uh, and how was it for you so far? Um, I, I'm also very grateful to be here because I think it's very important to take time from time to time to rediscuss about your values. I mean, you know, when you are in the on the wheel, you never take time to to analyze your decisions, your values. I mean, you think I I did a seminar like eight years ago, and we said okay. I already know the stuff. But no, after eight years, when I started to read again the text and when I entered again in the discussions, I had a, a totally different view of, of things and they help a lot. I think we need to take time uh, to rethink our values, to rethink or, or to re-understand where we stand and reanalyze uh, the things we are doing because it's so easy to, to, to come to a conclusion like I know what I'm doing and I'm doing it and doing it and doing it and then at some point somebody asks you but where did you do that and you're like okay I never took time to, to think to think about it and these types of uh, seminars and meetings are so useful and also I think this one uh, specifically, uh, specifically was very interesting for me because it was very internationally. I'm, I mean, there were people from so many countries here. And also this generation gap is also very interesting because you have you see so many perspectives at, at, at the same table. And um, it, our seminar is called Philosophy and Practice. Um, so we did text-based mm -hmm. discussions, but we also did practical sessions. Yes. Um, and for some people, um, some things are out of their comfort zone, um, and you always grow and, and learn when you're out of your comfort zone. And some things are easier, and sometimes some, some things are more difficult. What, did you, what, um, what was really enjoyable for you, and what was more of a challenge? Okay, so I think for me, uh, a, a very important challenge was to find my place in this kind of group because you know I come from Romania I think some of us in Romania still have this feeling okay we are still a develop uh, uh, an underdeveloping country and how do you position in a group with people coming from uh, from from type of countries that already have this history of talking about the uh, democracy about negotiating about I don't know discussing about important problems for us in Romania, this is quite a new exercise, even though we have Aspen Institute for, I don't know, maybe 17 years already, it's still, it's still a new baby, you know, and we, we don't have this exercise. And then another challenge is like, you know, we culturally are different. We are also a bit Latinos and we are more intense in the debates. And here you see people try to find the common ground. I mean, you cannot be that intense like you are because you don't know how the others will, will react because you know that some people are more calm and others have this education of debate where you just don't 
fight <laughs> you know you, you just put your and 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 this is uh, i don't know it holds you back a little bit so that's an important change uh, uh, a challenge in this type of groups but also very very interesting to understand how others react you know and how and w- when this is such a multicultural cultural environment it also helps you understand how actually larger institution work like because you know and, and now we can expand to this i mean we discuss a lot a lot about eu institution about uh, if EU is good for us or not, and we see this is a continuous discussion in our communities, and then you understand when you come in a in a context like this, that things can work very well for all of us if we understand the common ground and how we can build a common ground. And I mean, for me, it was also very useful to understand. Now, uh, I I have a more lo- local experience because I work for very local companies and NGOs and my activity is very based in Romania. Even though I did some trainings outside the country, my day-to-day experience, it's a lot. And then this type of... Uh, meeting helped me understand okay how actually the multicultural institutions work and i think that's a very very useful um, uh, information and understanding because now when when somebody asks me why do we need to do this is this is why we need to do because this is how we manage to build something better for for all of us so do you think you will stay in contact uh, with your peers after you go home <laughs> I mean, I, I really hope we will be, be able to, to be in contact. I, I would really li- like to hear more about what they will do in the future. I don't know how this will happen at this point, but yeah, I think maybe after tomorrow, because, you know, in the last day, people get a bit more emotional and they start connecting a bit, a bit more. Uh, we, will, we will also figure out a way to, to be in contact. Well, thank you so much um, for you being here, for participating, sharing your insights, and also for the wonderful cooperation between Aspen Germany and Aspen Romania, which is going to be continued. So thank you very, very much. Thank you also. It was a real pleasure to be here.